Rising. Welcome to today's show, everybody. I want to do another expose on a Illuminati symbol that you see all the time. It's always featured in music videos, in movies. It has dual meanings to it, as most of these symbols do. And that is the mirror. Now, you'll see the mirror in a ton of films, Disney films, okay? Used a lot in sorcery and in magic. We have the magic mirror on the wall from Snow White. You see mirrors in other films that involve sorcery, like Harry Potter. You see them in films that involve demon possession, such as The Conjuring, The Exorcist, things like that. You'll see the mirror in The Conjuring specifically. They'll use the mirror to show the demon actually inside the mirror. Then, like I've said before, when the person turns around, that demon is gone. But let's start with the first meaning of what the mirror symbolizes. In MK Ultra, in Mind Control, the mirror represents the shattered glass, the alter personalities that they create inside of these people's minds they through trauma-based mind control they use trauma to create split altars in these people's minds these altars are represented by mirrors and shattered glass that's why in a lot of music videos you'll see britney spears a lot of these artists uh justin timberlake a lot of these kids specifically who grew up in the disney system who you know are under mk ultra mind control who have handlers that control them what they do is they create these alter personalities split personalities in which their handlers can control their handlers usually are their parent or a high-ranking person that works at one of these companies whether it's a production company or a record label so when you see the actual shattered glass or the shattered mirror it represents the thousands of different pieces in their minds that have been shattered to create different personalities. And you see these personalities come out a lot of times. But that's why in music videos, you'll see people shattering glass. You'll see Eminem shattering through glass. You'll see Beyonce shattering through glass. You'll see Britney Spears doing it. It's all over the place. It's a very common theme uh, you know, that they use in these music videos that represent and that's the way also of the handler letting you know that this person is a slave under the mk ultra mind control program and that's what most of these celebrities musicians and actors are now the mirror also has another meaning and that's because the mirror is used in black magic and in sorcery to summon demons it is used as a portal to bring things over from the other side that's why you like i said you see snow white you see all these disney movies they indoctrinate kids with the mirror, which is a very dangerous form of witchcraft. Since ancient times, you know, they've used mirrors and smooth surfaces that they can have see reflections off of. They've been used for magic and repelling evil, but they've also been greatly, you know, feared for their power to steal someone's soul. In recent times, mirrors have been used as tools in psychic development to increase clairvoyance and gain knowledge of so-called past lives and things like that. That's what these, you know, these people believe that when they summon these demons and stuff like that, but they're also summoning these demons for power and also to be put under demonic possession because that's what happens when they bring these demons over from the other side. So they use the mirror as a portal for doing that stuff. And a lot of people who practice or Wiccan or practice witchcraft don't recommend anybody doing it because it's very dangerous. People do, you know, get attacked by these demons that they summon. They bring them into their home. They bring them into their body. They're opening their souls up to them to even give their souls over to these demons that they summon. And that's why throughout history we've seen the mirror, well, especially in modern history recently, because this has been going on forever. They've been using the mirror since mirrors were invented to do this as a portal, as a gateway. But this is why you see it so often in films. That's why you see the magic mirror on the wall. That's why you see it in all of these films. It's not just because they're vain, which of course most of these celebrities are. It's because they're indoctrinating you with the mirror because the mirror, like I said, is a portal and a gateway. So those are the two meanings for the mirror. When you see the mirror, especially the shattered glass, that represents MK Ultra mind control. And when you see mirrors used in you know, a lot of these witch movies and stuff, understand what they're trying to do is they're trying to indoctrinate people with witchcraft, with sorcery, with practicing these spells and using mirrors as a gateway and a portal. So that's what the mirror represents. That's why you see it all the time in music videos and in films. It truly is used as a means to, you know, summon demons and bring demons over from the other side. It is used as a portal. That's what witches use it for. And like I said, a lot of witches don't do it because of the dangers of actually becoming demonically possessed or summoning some type of dangerous demon into their home. So that's the mirror, folks. I thank you for listening to today's show. Keep your eye out for these symbols. 
It's important in the awakening process. The symbols is a real easy way to start getting people to wake up. Show them the meanings behind it. Say, why are they constantly showing these symbols over and over and over? And people will start to slowly, their, their, you know, their wall that they have up will start to come down because they'll say, that is kind of obvious, seeing this shattered mirror symbolism in all these music videos or seeing, you know, obviously we talked about the pyramid and those other things. Seeing Saturn's cube now is a big one that we see over and over, the cube symbolism. So it's really important to start waking people up through symbols because people People stop believing in coincidences when they see this stuff and they say, all right, there's got to be a catch here. Why are they constantly doing it? You know, we've all seen the magic mirror on the wall. Why are we seeing the magic mirror in Harry Potter and in all of this other, you know, these other movies that involve sorcery? Why are we seeing it in demon possessed films? Why can you see the demon in the mirror, but when the person turns around, you can't see the demon? Because they're telling you what they do. They're telling you what they use the mirror for and how it is a portal. So start telling people that. Start sharing the information, especially with these symbols that I'm exposing here in this channel. Share these videos. I thank you for listening to today's show. God bless all of you and your families.